So when we're taking a look at this current list view of my recent opportunities, there's a couple different things that I think we could change here that will benefit um, the amount of organization that we have per site in addition to um, just having more accurate data and being able to find things uh, quite a bit faster. So if you're taking a company like GBU, for example, they have multiple locations. They have their Niagara Street location, uh, as well as their new 1195 Main Street location. So what Insightly allows us to do is break these down, organizations down into a parent and subsidiaries. So if you see here, instead of doing the standard uh, GBU organization like we normally would, I created another organization that's the G Health Enterprises main branch. And the reason being is because the shipping address is the exact site location of which we would be doing the work. And if we go to related, we're going to be able to see all the previous jobs that we did at that particular location. So if we had a rebrand and, you know, that's under that particular site, the reason why this would be beneficial is because when we're doing multiple, you know, services or projects at different branches, it's going to allow us to be able to track exactly what we're looking for. So um, taking a little bit deeper dive, we're hitting on this opportunity right here. And this is a recently created opportunity. And because of, of being able to separate the different branches, that's going to eliminate the need to be having to put a site location right here, eliminating that duplicate. Uh, data. In addition to when you're going to the related tabs, you know, we're going to be able to have the primary organization and the uh, parent organization, you know, and, and you may have different contacts at different, different sites. Another thing that I want to mention was under the notes section, you know, I know a big problem was we've been uh, just compiling all the information under the file section. Well, what we could do is kind of separate it into notes where, you know, we make a note for site photos of the parking lot signage. So I made a little note here, you know, attach our site photos of the current fire lane signage, the handicap signage, uh, in the image of the rear door elevation. So if we go to related, you know, there, there it is right there. You can see, you know, no parking, fire lane one, no parking, fire lane two, you know, the handicap parking signs, etc. And then we can go back over here and I made a con comment, you know, please check under the relate tab for the site images. I also attached the initial proposed rendering for the new signage. So you click here and that way it's not in the file section where we're mistaken. Oh, you know, that's not the right rendering. We have to revise the rendering. This will give us the opportunity to make adjustments and make comments and say, no, that rendering is wrong, etc. And we can make the adjustment. And once we actually have the finalized signed off rendering, that could be the one that goes into the actual file information for that opportunity. Then I'd upload the, you know, finalized rendering. So just a couple of different tweaks and, and, and things. And I, I really think if we can, you know, not only organize and, and combine all the information, this is why I've been really working hard to uh, transition all the information over the pipe drive. So that way we could really utilize this tool is, is, you know, for what it's for. So just look quick little, uh, you know, demo there.